Hey guys, Jeff Manchester here. Sorry it looks like the second coming of Christ behind me. Maybe I can tilt the chair. Or, I don't know. You guys, it'll be fine. Today's video is about plugins, namely the top five plugin companies and their best plugins that I've uh, ever used. And I've been doing this for about five years now, um, spending money on plugins and stuff. So if I had known about these companies way back when, I could have saved a lot of money and a lot of time, but uh, I'm here to tell you about them. It's very subjective. These are just what I think are the best plugin companies and the best plugins they're making. A couple sort of things, some housekeeping before we start on the list. Number one, a lot of people on the internet, including me, talk about plugins all the time and how great they are. But what you don't often hear is the kind of truth about them, and that's that a plugin is not going to make your song any better if the song is poorly arranged or if the song is undercooked or if the songwriting is weak. At 1176 by UAD, you know, it's going to cost you a bunch of money. It's not going to suddenly make the mix way better if the song itself, if the source is still rough. So really focus on arrangement, getting, you know, getting the mic at the right place and getting sort of starting at the source. That's what really matters. There's a lot of hype and a lot of stuff around plugins. Start with the source. If you have a good mic, and a good drummer and a good drum kit and a good preamp, you're gonna be fine. Then you can bring that plugin on and it'll sort of enhance everything, but it really starts at the source. The next thing I wanna say is, um, I know a lot of you guys are cracking plugins and pirating them. Like this is not a video about whether or not you should, you know, you should crack plugins. I'm just trying to point out some amazing companies that make amazing plugins. I'm not saying go ahead and crack them because I used to crack them. I don't anymore. But for me to sit here and say, don't do what I did, that's like, you know, if there was some priest who was a rock star for 40 years and was doing coke and hookers and suddenly he found God and was like, don't do anything that I did. Like, it's ridiculous. So live your life, do what you want. But I'm going to be talking about plugin companies that I think are worth your money. With those two things said, before we get to the list, I want to give you the criteria for why I think these companies are worth your money and your time. When I was thinking of, of this list, I was saying, okay, are these companies aware that a lot of you guys are students and do they respect students enough to have some kind of educational discount? Because let's face it, it's very easy to crack plugins and torrent them. So if they offer these plugins at a reasonable price to people who are living on a fixed income and all their money goes to textbooks and food and all this stuff, that's really cool. There's a lot of companies that do that. So that's one of the criteria I chose for this list. Are they nice students? Second criteria is, are they versatile? Company X makes, you know, the vocal plugin. If you throw that vocal plugin on a snare, on a hi-hat, or on a Rhodes or something, is it still going to bring some magic, even though the plugin was meant for one thing, you know? So versatility and resourcefulness, that's the other sort of criteria that I have. Let's get into the list. At the top is, uh, so we're going to go from five to one, five being like amazing, and one being like the best, in my opinion. So very biased, very subjective. Number one, Kazrog. Now, these guys make very cost-effective plugins. Um, well, cost-effective, they're, 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 they're cheap. Um, they make amp modeling software, which is terrific. It's what they're kind of known for, but I think the crown jewel of their offerings is a, ma a limiting plugin called the K-Clip. And this thing is known to be, in the industry, one of the most transparent limiters out there. It's $20. Actually, it's not. It's less than that because when I went to the website to prepare for this video, they had a deal on, like a Black Friday deal from like last year, and it's still going. So now you get a $20 amazing limiting plugin for $10 American. So it's a steal. I found out about it because I was using the Waves L2 to limit all my stuff, and it, uh, an instructor at my old school was like, I don't like that. I don't like the sound. I'm like, don't like the sound. He's like, yeah, I use this thing called Kazrog. I'm like, well, how much does it cost? Anyway, 20 bucks. It's amazing. Um, everything I'm talking about, by the way, it's going to be in the description. I'm going to put all the links there so you guys can go and look all the stuff up later. Number two, or number four, sorry, five, four. Number four is Fab Filter. So these guys make a lot of amazing plugins. They also have some sound design stuff. Uh, I think Volcano and Saturn, and there's a Saturator. I think that's Saturn, but their mixing plugins are incredible. And like I said before, are they kind of students? You bet. For surrendering your student card and you could be going to school for like soil management you don't have to be in audio audio school you can get 50 percent off their plugins which are incredible and i think the crown jewel of this company is the pro q2 which is an incredible 
um, equalizer. I use the one in Pro Tools a lot. I like the one in Ableton, but I use the one in Pro Tools and it just confuses me. I graduated from a cheap uh, Canadian university. There's only so many balls I can juggle. Um, so this was not a confusing plugin, not a confusing EQ plugin. Its GUI is absolutely beautiful. Um, the company behind it, they're like a very deep thinking, kind of taking it serious audio company, and they're amazing. So FabFilter, they make amazing stuff, but the best thing is that Pro-Q2, in my opinion. I've used it on every mix. It's incredible. And again, 50% off, so you can't go wrong. Number three is Isotope. Now, you've heard me plug Isotope a lot on this channel. I reviewed the DDLY. I reviewed their re-release of the vinyl plugin. They're incredible. Um, and again, are they kind to of students? You bet. You could be doing your, uh, you know, your degree in, uh, again, soil management. And you send them your student card, 50% off anything. Now, I think you should be sending in your student card and asking for the crown jewel of this company, which is Ozone, a mastering suite. Now, a lot of people still master the analog way. A lot of pro uh, mastery engineers do it analog, and that's amazing. But the Ozone plugin, the Ozone bundle, is really gaining a lot of ground. And uh, for people producing at home, even for like pro mi uh, mastering engineers, they're like they're you know they're taking a look at this piece of software, and it's it's pretty incredible. And the one great thing, one of the many great things about Ozone, is that you can take individual modules contained within the mastering suite and apply them in your DAW to just a single track. So when I say it's a suite, it's really a collection of modules into which you throw some audio and then you can sort of, you know, get your mastering chain, EQ, compression, some saturation, and then a limiter or whatever. You can take those individual modules, which are terrific, and apply them individually on, uh, on elements of your mix. Dave Pensato does that. So uh, I'm not sure how much it's running for now, but they always have sales, and again, 50% off. The penultimate, the second to last one, is Sound Toys. These guys are incredible. I think it's a couple people from Eventide. They make the amazing H3000, a bunch of uh, excellent 80s analog gear. Two guys from Eventide, that company, started Sound Toys, and they are a remarkable company. Uh, they have an amazing sense of humor. Um, and I think the crown jewel of Sound Toys is the Decapitator plugin. And this is a saturation distortion plugin, but it's unlike anything I've ever used. It's used all over the industry. It's incredible. And I love it. So I think they're also very good students because they have an academic suite, all their plugins, all, and they're all really, really, really good. But they offer an academic version of it for half the price. So I think it's $299 for the academic version, $500 or $250 for the academic version, $500 bucks for the full one. And I think there's a sale on right now at, at the time of this video. There's something going on. So you can probably compound that on top of the educational discount. So they're really, really good. And Decapitator is, I think, their best plugin. So Sound Toys, Decapitator. Now, in my view, one of the best companies, and it's at the top of this list, is Kush. And um, I was plugging Kush for a long time, and I don't smoke weed, so I didn't know that like Kush was also a euphemism for weed. So I was like, have you heard of Kush? And they're like, yeah, man, we've heard of... So Kush, it's a real company. Um, I've, uh, I've, I've praised their, in my view, their best plugin, uh, which is the Clarifonic DSP. I've got a video on it uh, showing you how you can apply it to your mix. It's made all of my mixes amazing. I use it on everything. I'll even master with it at the very end of my chain. After the limiter, I'll add the Clarifonic just to sort of sweeten everything up. It's great. The reason these guys make it to the top of my list is not just because they have um, great analog and uh, plugin software, They've even got like a whole digital kind of company with digital uh, offerings like um, compressors and all, all that stuff. Uh, the company's called SlyFi. And you should check out the Kaya. That's a really good plugin from SlyFi, which is the same company, same same guys from Kush. UBK is uh, is his pseudonym. And the guy I'm talking about is Greg, Greg Scott, Gregory Scott. That's his name. The reason they're at the top of my list is because not only do they make great plugins, they also have a podcast where... You can write questions, and they'll answer them on the air, on the air, on the podcast, and you could win a plugin. But you shouldn't get excited just because you could win a plugin, because even if they weren't giving anything away, the amount of knowledge that I have from listening and following these two guys on their podcast called the UBK Happy Fun Time Hour, I didn't make that up, that is the name, it's, uh, it's immeasurable. It's so incredible. These guys answer questions, and whether you're mixing music, you're composing it, you're mastering it, they have your back and they're funny and very irreverent and silly 
and so they make great plugins they have an amazing show it's the best of both worlds and they have an educational discount I think it's 30% off or something like that and also you can just try all their plugins before you buy them of course but Kush is at the top of my list um, they're kind of like the indie coffee shop you know you get Starbucks which might be like waves or something who have sales and they're everywhere and everything but and then you got Kush and these guys just release a couple plugins every now and then and because they're so careful about releasing stuff and because they don't follow trends everyone is always really excited to see what they're going to come up with next and with that podcast it's it's amazing so they've really changed my mixes and frankly my life so these plugins are incredible but not as incredible as your incredible arrangements and songwriting that's where it starts so five companies i can't live without thank you so much for watching by the way i'm up to like 500 and something subscribers thank you so much uh you'll notice i'm editing my videos a lot more now because i want to keep you all here and keep you guys learning and interested if there's something you want to see me review or make or whatever just tell me and i'll do it anything i've talked about in this video if you want me to review it walk you through it i will happily make a video even if only one person wants to watch it and there's going to be 20 views i'm here for you guys so that's it for now have a great day